Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a go wild budget. I've been trying to figure out how I wanted to incorporate this in my planner. I use an Erin Condren hourly planner in the colorful version and clearly in the binder and I love it so much. Um, link will be below to the Erin Condren website if you want to check it out. However, I usually do like my budget here and so i was thinking about doing the go wild budget here because it's like very specific you know what i'm saying um i was thinking about doing like it on some of the notes pages but i feel like when i put something back here it just like goes to die because i never i never end up looking at those pages ever again so i think i'm going to use this page and the awesome thing about the binder is you can take the pages out. So I'm going to take a page out because that's just what I'm going to do. And then we can play with this a little bit more. I did bust out my travel, I don't know, thing. I don't know. I mean, I did a video like a long time ago, maybe more than a year ago now of how I organize my Raskog cart and stickers and I put them all in here and you know, you got, you got travel things in here. So I am not sure what I'm going to use yet, but I will bust out a few things. I have some Christian design stickers from last year that I'll definitely be using. I've got some, uh, Birds Fly Studios. Also, this is a Birds Fly Studio as well. Um, this is from Plan About It. Love those. Very cute. And then this I'm going to use for the hotel from Adriana Piper. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm just going to like bust out a few things. Here's another Chrissy and Designs thing from last year. Yeah, so I don't know. Let's like just like let's get to planning. Okay, I need to just like stop. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit more here. And then I have like a little bit of a new filming setup. So it's like a little further away from what I'm used to. So I kind of end up going like this over time. So sorry if that happens. So I am also going to be using this washi that I got last year at the Go Wild convention in Las Vegas. And I believe that this is from Simply Gilded. I'm not 100% sure but I want to say it was, but um, I'm a huge fan of Simply Gilded, but normally her tapes have her logo inside them and this one does not. So I don't know what that's about, but we're just gonna go with it. I don't know, does that look cool or does that look weird? I feel like it looks a little weird. Ah. I know what I'm gonna do. I'll be right back. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, this is like way too much work for a budget, but you know what? I like to decorate my budgets and y'all know that. So we're just gonna go with it. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and go like that. What I'm gonna do since, if you guys can see this, okay. See how it like goes up? I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do, take this little thing this is from Erin Condren by the way um I think this is on the website as an individual item but it did come in a did it come in a surprise box I feel like it came in a surprise box I'm gonna take this little dude I will try to remember to put this in the description box this is from Slice um it's called Slice but it's like a it's like a little slicey poker thing and you can trim your washi pretty darn well with this, in my opinion. Um, you just can't push too hard uh, because then you'll cut through the entire paper. But you know, if you just with a light hand, just la 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 la. Okay, I feel like in the middle I didn't do enough pressure. Okay, let's just see how it went here. And who knows? I could be totally ruining everything right now. Who knows? All right. La, la, la. Oh, see, that's where I thought I didn't have enough pressure, but. Okay, let's just. Actually, I just go like this. Hello. 
All right, let's see if that works. Yes, ha ha, la la la. So now my 15 millimeter is now a 10 millimeter. Cool. All right, hold on. We're gonna start like a little graveyard of things. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Oh, by the way, if you guys are interested in Go Wild, see, I told you I was gonna do that. Um, if you guys are interested in Go Wild or any of the details on it, I will link my vlogging series down below or like up in a card or whatever. So just make sure to check that thing out because there's lots of wonderful information on those series. Okay, so let's put this to the side for a moment and then I'm gonna use, I think, this and I'm gonna use okay I'm also gonna use this these I discovered last year at go wild and oh my gosh they've been like a total game changer I love them so much they are from Avery they are the marks a lot permanent markers in the ultra fine tip and they are so good you guys if you want an awesome permanent marker that does not smear this is for you I usually use these the pilot ultra fine point permanent type um i love these so much however sometimes i want a little color in my life so then i love these and they come i think they come in a pack of um i don't know how many but it's like a whole rainbow and then also you have a blue and a black in there as well so it's got like you know all your primary colors and whatnot so yeah hmm maybe i want to use one of these i don't know i use <laughs> I got this one last year and this one the year before. Let's let's use this one. This one looks like a fun one. All right, so we've got our Anaheim 2020 budget ready to go. Here, I feel like I don't know what to put like right there. Hmm. Maybe I'll put like the total or something. That'd be kind of cool. All right, that looks cute. We've got a lot of things to put in. I actually made I made a budget before, but it was a whole it was a hot mess. So I figured I wanted to um, show you guys uh, a a less of a hot mess maybe i don't know so um let's start with tickets so the tickets um will go on sale i don't i don't know when they actually go on sale to be honest i want to say last year they went on sale in like january but i could totally be mistaken um but i did write down what the like the prices were from last year and all that good stuff so i'm gonna use one of these um stickers from chrissy and designs and i'm just gonna put in right here tickets so the go wild ticket um in the past has been about 517 plus fees so I'm gonna guesstimate about 550. A lot of this is gonna be guesstimating. Some of it's gonna be like spot on, but some of it's gonna be guesstimating. So I'll like let you know. I'm also gonna use some of these little cute ticket things that say admit one, because why not? So, and then we have the hotel is kind of the next thing. Um, the hotel, they have released the prices. It's way more spendy than last year, but um, I am going to have a roommate. I roomed last year with Ryan from A Man With The Plans and Jody from Life's Organized Chaos. Unfortunately, Jody can't come this year, um, which really, really stinks. She has a work commitment the same weekend, so it's such a bummer. But um, Ryan and I will be there. Uh, and we'll, she'll be there in spirit. I know, I know she'll be there in spirit. So anyway, so the hotel um, is the Marriott this year. And then I'm gonna use one of these cause these look like, they're like little like apartment complexes, I think on her site on Eddie Rana Piper, but they look like hotels. <laughs> so I am going to use one of these little guys because you know, the cute and why not? Um, so the Marriott, so it's 239 per night. And Ryan and I are planning on staying six uh, days. It is a total of one, four, three, four. And then if we divide that by two, we will get uh, 717. So it's definitely way spendier than last year, but we were in Vegas last year. So 
eh, I don't know. I mean, Vegas is uh, a little bit cheaper for the accommodations. So that's all right. Um, okay, so then um, I did just look up flights like as of today. And from Minneapolis, which is where I live, to LAX, which is where most people fly into, I believe. I think there's a couple of other airports, but there are tons and tons of shuttle services that are pretty inexpensive. Um, and I'll do like a transportation thing in just a moment here. But the flights are pretty okay from, you know, Minneapolis to LAX. They're pretty, you know, big hubs and stuff. So um, the flights that I was looking at today, I'm going to use another one of these Christian Design stickers, um, is $350. So I'm just going to go with that. Clearly, I'm not booking any flights just yet. You know, we want to make sure that we actually get tickets and then we get a hotel and all of that stuff before we, you know, <laughs> book anything. So anyway, so we have the flight of $350 and I believe that was Delta. Um, I'm just going to put 350 because, you know, that's just kind of a, a guesstimate at this point. Um, but we're just going to go with that and I'm going to put a little zhuzh on the, on the side over here. I think we bust out these stickers. All right. These are from Planner Topia and let's see here. All right, I'll put the little tickets right here, little, little cute little boarding passes. All right, so these are the things that are like definitely, definitely happening. So we need a ticket, a hotel, and a flight. Um, so next up is just kind of like extra stuff. Um, so this doesn't necessarily have to be in your budget or like, say you live in Anaheim, maybe you just need tickets. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that would be awesome if I lived in Anaheim. <laughs> um, but so next up, we're going to do transportation because we need some transportation because clearly, um, I don't want to rent a car because there's really no point to renting a car. I mean, I don't think. Um, because we're not really going to go anywhere super exciting. I mean, well, I feel like this is exciting, but we're not going to go anywhere else. You know what I mean? So it is time for some transportations. All right. So I am going to bust into my Christian designs binder. Um, and I'm going to, I know I have some, um, like little cars. Yeah, here we go. Here are some cars. All right. So we've got our little car, which will go right here. And then I'm gonna use one of these little people too. Um, this is from Wonton in a Million. And you know, I'll put a little put a little person, a little traveler to pick up, you know. So I looked up some um, fees and for me it looks like it would be around a hundred dollars um, is what I'm guesstimating. Again, this is all guesstimates, okay? Okay. And then we have the food budget which clearly this is going to be different for everybody. Um, since I am going to be gone, um, I am planning on being gone a total of five days. Uh, that puts my food budget right around $250. And that's like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm trying to be pretty reasonable um, in those prices. I mean, sometimes I might have like splurge and have um, like a bigger dinner or a bigger lunch or something. And sometimes I might just, you know, get whatever. So I think that's what's going to like work for me, but I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, I have these other wonton and a million stickers and I will put one of these in. It's called, this one's called meal time. And I'll just use one of these little peeps right over here. Use like a little, little money sticker there for the budget. So normally I would be done, but this is clearly not normal because we're going to be in Anaheim, California. And you know what? I've never been to Disneyland. So I am planning on going to Disneyland and I'm very, very excited about it. And I thought that it'd be kind of fun to bring you guys along. So I'm definitely going to be vlogging it. Um, you know, my experience and all of that good stuff. So I decided to look up some prices today. Unfortunately, um, May is not up yet for what their like, you know, general admission ticket prices are, unfortunately. But um, I kind of did a little guesstimate looking at some other things. So I think the ticket price is going to be fairly similar-ish 
to um you know what's what's going on but i feel like disney needs its like own category so i think i'm gonna do the disney one like over here because it's like it's a lot y'all all right so i'm gonna use um some of these banner stickers from chrissy and designs here and then i am going to use these really cute stickers from wanton and a million because it's disney so why not? All right, and then I have a, another little sticker. It's like a lined box from Chrissy and Designs. I'm just gonna put that right underneath. And then I'm going to write out all of the things that I think will be happening at Disney or how much money I will need for certain things. All right, so um, I have 129 for the ticket, um, $60 for food. I know that's way cheap for Disneyland, but um, I am planning on not really eating too much while I'm there because I know it's like hella expensive. And then $60 for like spending money on like souvenirs or whatever. I don't really want anything, but maybe I do. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to go for the experience, you know? So anyways, um, so we have a total budget of $249 for Disney as of right now. So let me get this all totaled up for y'all and then um, I'll come right back. All right. So also I wanted to address, as you can see on like the go wild side, I didn't put anything for spending money. To be honest, it you get so much swag and it's amazing and there's so many lovely sponsors and I love it. However, you don't really have time to shop. Um, I mean, you might. I, get, I don't know. I just feel like every time I've gone, I've maybe gotten like a couple of little things, but nothing like that really would break the bank. So I'm not going to put anything for spending money for right now. Um, and then let's do this. Okay. So my total for actual go wild is $1,000. $967 and I know that's really expensive but for me personally I feel like it's totally worth it and it's just it's just like a, such a great experience. I'm also going to take one of these stickers from Cricut Paper Co and put it put it right over here that says make wild plans because it was out and I'm like yes I love that. So anyway, um, that is it for my Go Wild budget for 2020 for Anaheim, California. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, not everything is going to be exactly as yours, but it's just kind of a fun template to do. And then Disneyland is clearly not uh, something that you have to do, but I've never been. So I'm like, you know what? I, I feel like I need to go. So anyway, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.